Man, I've been waiting for this to show up. This is the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. And look, I remember being in New York a few years ago and being able to unbox the very first Galaxy Fold and it was so dope to me. Um, but there were some concerns about the price and durability that people have, but I think Samsung has addressed a lot of those concerns with this new foldable phone. And so let me go ahead and get inside of this box and take a look at it. So we have the phone right here already unfolded and I'm gonna set this to the side for now. And in this box, Let's see what we get. I'm assuming this is just going to be documentation. Yep. And also to um, a USB-C to USB-C cable that comes with it. And I think that's about it. Yeah. So no charger inside of this, the box with this phone. So uh, bring your own charger to the party for this. But let's take a look at the phone itself. And this looks to be the phantom green color. It also comes in phantom black and also phantom silver. So let's get the plastic wrapping off of this one screen at a time. Look at this. Oh man. All right, so I can already tell because I use the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 2 a lot. I can already tell that this is lighter because it is uh, about 11 grams lighter, which is pretty impressive. And I can feel that weight difference. It might not seem like a lot, but uh, it definitely is when it comes to making uh, electrical devices and phones like this. And all the colors do come in a matte finish, so it's not gonna be slippery or glossy. And look, shout out to all the smartphone manufacturers out there, but please stop making those super shiny phones. Make them all matte finishes. Just, just do it for us. I'm asking on the behalf of the tech community. Just please, just please do that. So yeah, at the bottom, we do have the USB-C port. This does have stereo speakers, one at the bottom, one at the top. And then also too, on the right-hand side, you will find that it does have uh, the volume controls. And also too, does have a uh, power button that has the fingerprint scanner built inside of it. So you don't get any type of fingerprint scanner underneath the display, either one of the two displays. So just in the power button still. And all right, so let me get this thing powered on for the first time. And let's just talk about the specs real quick. So this does have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 inside of it. It has 5G, Dolby Atmos. Um, it has a 4,400 milliamp hour battery inside of it. Um, then also this does come in two different storage configurations. So you can choose between 256 or 512 gigabytes of storage. And one of the biggest changes this year is the lower price. So instead of being $19.99, like it has been for the previous two phones, it is now $17.99. So you're saving 200 bucks. All right, so the phone is all set up here. And so let's talk about the screens real quick. So the screens are the same sizes as the Z Fold 2. So you have 7.6 inches with this main display display here and then when you close it on the front or the cover display you have 6.2 inches but something new this year is that this cover display can run at 120 hertz as far as this refresh rate so you have some very snappy performance there and the main display is bringing over that 120 hertz that was in the Z Fold 2. And Samsung says that these screens are just gonna be more durable. So they both are made out of Gorilla Glass Victus, which should be more resistance against scratches and drops. And then also too, there's a new, better protective film on this main cover display. You can't really see it. You might be able to see the reflection there, but uh, that's gonna be better made this year. And then also too, the hinge, which allows you to kind of fold and hold the uh, Z Fold 3 that was introduced in the Z Fold 2. So if you wanna do like a uh, video chat or something, you can fold it like this and be able to have the, the camera propped up so you can see it. But anyway, this hinge is made out of Armor aluminum is what Samsung is calling it. So it's gonna be stronger, but then also to lighter. So that just goes into the entire weight loss that the Z Fold 3 has. Again, coming in around 11 grams lighter than the Z Fold 2. And speaking of the Z Fold 2, let me go ahead and bring little buddy in here right now because I wanted to take a look at the um, front facing camera that's on the main display here that is um, right here. And you can see it easily because it pokes out there and even the screen protector has to kind of like wrap around it. But new this year with the Z Fold 3 is the fact that this front facing camera now lives underneath the display. So it's almost invisible, not totally invisible, but almost invisible. So you can see here, it's very hard to make out on the background here with this bridge above my head. Now, when I do zoom in here a little bit and I go into like the sky, it's way more noticeable here, the difference that you get between these two versions. And so this front facing camera has one out of the four pixels showing here. So again, it's not completely invisible. You can still see if the light hits it just right or if you have like a dark screen of the area that's completely black. Uh, but I think it's a step in the right direction as far as looks are concerned. But I am interested in the quality of the photos and videos that you can get now from this um, camera that's living underneath the display and whether or not it's gonna be better or worse. So let me go ahead and take a uh, selfie here with this camera. All right, so I got it lined up here and let me do my face that I do in pretty much every photo. Boom. And now let me take one with the Z Fold 2. All 
All right, got that snapped. And from what I can see, it looks like the Z Fold 3 camera is definitely softer than the uh, camera here on the Z Fold 2. Uh, I'm liking the color that I'm getting from the Z Fold 3 here, but you can see that, especially around my receding hairline here, <laughs> that it is a little softer. Um, you don't have uh, as much sharpness there and being able to make out some of those finer details like I'm seeing a little bit here on the Z Fold 2. But what I'm going to do right now is actually take it outside, well, really after I finish this video, but what you're seeing right now are the photos that when uh, happened when I took these phones outside to try to get some really good sunlight to see the difference here. So I can't see how they look so far, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the differences here between the uh, the camera that lives underneath the display on the Z Fold 3 and the one that's just like the regular um, punch hole camera on the Z Fold 2. Now I have been using some of my Google apps on the Z Fold 3 and I have noticed the difference in the updates for those apps for the Z Fold 3 versus on the Z Fold 2. So you can see here like in the photos app, you have your sidebar here with your different categories that you can choose between. And I also noticed this in the settings app. So I have all of my categories right here in the settings on the left hand side. But then when I tap on something here, it will just update on the right hand side. And now I can make changes where on the Z Fold 2 here, if I go to that same section here, it takes me to a whole nother screen. Then if I want to go back um, to one of the other categories, I have to hit that back button. So this just allows me to have everything on the screen at one time. And then one of the biggest additions for this Z Fold 3 this year is going to be S Pen support. So you can't use any of the older S Pens that you have, but I do have the uh, S Pen Fold Edition right here um, coming straight from Samsung. So let me get this thing out of the box real quick. And all right, so here's the S Pen Fold Edition here. Then also too, here's a little uh, kind of carrying sleeve for it or protective sleeve when you're not using it. You can put it inside of there. I wish this could connect to like the, the phone via magnets or something, but you don't have that option, but not a deal breaker for me. Um, but the thing about this uh, S Pen here is that it does have a retractable pen tip. So when I press down on it, it actually goes in like so. So that's gonna help when you are applying pressure when you are using this on the Z Fold 3 screen um, to not damage the screen. All right, so I have Samsung Notes open up here right now and here I am just drawing on the screen. And again, you don't typically have to apply a lot of pressure to do this, but just in case you do, when I press down on it, you can see that pin chip is going to be uh, retracting there just to make sure I don't press in too hard on this screen. But it's crazy how far we've come from the original fold when people were worrying about that thing breaking as far as the display and now we have S Pen support running on this thing with seemingly no issues. And so look, I don't want to turn this unboxing into a full review. I have a lot I want to cover and just really test out and see for myself. So stay tuned for my full review of this phone. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to go ahead and start using this. I was a big fan of the Z Fold 2. I use it every single day. So this definitely is going to be uh, my replacement for that. But for $200 cheaper, you're getting some really good things. You have that IPX4 um, water resistance rating there. You have some really good things going on with this. So stay tuned for my full review. So right now, I'm about to wrap this video up. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.